on God Help Kitchen, we will be making lentil bread sandwich. What makes this recipe special is because we do not use grains and red lentils are very easy to digest. Okay, let's get started. For the lentil bread sandwich, we have one cup of water, one tablespoon of onion, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, We started with one cup of red lentils and we soaked and sprouted. It's about two cups right now, but you always started with one cup. Okay, and we are going to blend it. Okay, the mixture is well blended and we're going to place it into a glass container and we also using parchment paper so it won't stick because this is gluten free and we're gonna spread it evenly. And then we are going to bake it at 400 for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. So just check it out if it's ready to turn over. Okay. So this is ready and we're gonna place, place it in the oven. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Now we're gonna turn it over. All we do is just go upside down. It's kind of racing somehow. It's not a spin, so it's just very nice for bread. See, it just looks super nice now. So now we're going to bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes. You, should, you have to check it out. Don't let it um, burn. Okay, so the final product is ready. It looks super nice. And back. So it was 20 minutes um, and then Turn it over in another 20 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I'm just going to do one and I'm gonna make it a square, it's kind of hot. Okay, so it's ready. I have here some cheese that I made it earlier. So this super nice cheese so you can see in, in a, uh, another recipe in our channel. So at this time, I'm just going to serve it. So I'm gonna place my cheese first. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do it this way. And some avocado. And some sprouts. I like my, make my own sprouts. 
and then I'm going to just put a few drops here of the lime and sprinkle a little salt, not, not much, just a little salt. So now the sandwich is ready. Look how nice sandwich. I hope you enjoy. This will be our lunch for me and my husband. Well, give this recipe a try and let me know how it came out down in the comments. If you enjoyed this gut health recipe and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to show your support. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Gut Health Kitchen. Mm -hmm.